Hi Libra! Welcome to your singles love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Although personally I think your moon sign is going to resonate the best. So if you don't know your moon sign, there's a link in the description box below that'll kind of help you figure that out. And there's also a video explaining why I think the moon sign resonates the best. <laughs> okay, so let's just get started. Libra for February 2018. <laughs> So Libra, what's kind of your energy of the month? And they're saying, like, maybe part of you is like, um, happily ever after doesn't exist. And you're focused on the lack of love that you have in your life. So essentially, per law of attraction, you're kind of screwing yourself over. Let's be real here. But um, the thing is, is I feel like a lot of you where you're coming to this conclusion and you're like really feeling the lack, it's because of um, broken families, you know, like maybe you have a divorce and then you have children and so like dating is hard because you don't want to bring the wrong person into your life or like you don't want them to meet your kids, like that kind of a thing. That's the energy that I'm getting here. They're also saying like, well, you don't have to make decisions right away. Um, it's that you're being very cautious as to like knowing what is the highest good, but then a part of you as a result of like not wanting to end up in like a shit situation attached to somebody or like your kids grow attached to them. Uh, whether you have them or not, like you just don't want to grow attached to somebody who's not right for you, means that maybe part of you is feeling defeated and so you're not talking to people, you're not getting to know people, you're kind of just like waiting it out and seeing what's happening. But until you shift your mindset, then it's going to be hard to draw somebody in that is for your highest good. So for better or worse, what are your behavioral patterns in the month of February? Um, what's going to be helping you out that you're doing? And what is going to be hurting you? Okay, so this is interesting, the way that they popped out. Helping you, hurting you. Okay, um, so as far as what's helping you is you're not crazy. Okay, so that's good. Like, you come to this mindset be, for a reason, okay? But the thing is, is that you're not looking at your long-term future so much as thinking about the short term and like maybe how bringing people into your life could interfere with your current flow and your day-to-day -day life and maybe starting to date somebody or welcoming somebody in would upset your routine. It would, um, because you're almost to this place where your ducks are all in a row. Like you feel like you've got a good system, you're almost there. And so to welcome somebody in right now might disrupt that harmony. And so you're not wrong about that. But um, the thing is, is if you're like super content and happy and overflowing with joy and love, that's awesome because you're radiating out that energy and able to bring it in. But the thing is, is if you're pushing love away simultaneously because you can't see how they would fit into your life on a day-to-day -day level, that you're um, going to end up disappointed because it's saying that, you know, if you can find your happiness there in being single, then all of a sudden love can come in for you, but you have to be excited for that. You have to be excited to welcome it in. So it's like for some Libras, and I'm not getting this for all of you, so I'm going to actually pull another time um, for the rest of you, but I'm going to say a solid 30% of you loves right there for you, but it's just like, mm, conceptually, you don't see how they would fit. And so you're pushing away that opportunity. You're maybe not um, communicating with people who are actually a really good match for you. Maybe you took down your online dating profile or something like that, and your partner, your forever person's right there. They're saying the challenge here is that you're confused about where your priorities should be. What's the most important thing for you right now? And maybe you feel like it's not love, but it's like love's right here. So if you want that too, you can go ahead and grab it. Now for the other 70% of you, behaviorally, what are you doing right that's helping you out this month? <laughs> and then not so different actually. And then for the, and this is funny because the chances of getting these four cards right here are like, are like in the trillions at minimum. Um, so spirit definitely has a message to tell you. <laughs> and then the negative things that you're doing. Okay. So. Um, for the other 70% of you, you're again, you're not thinking about the long term. You're thinking about the day-to-day -day life. And um, you're thinking about your goals and how to create better structure. And that's all good for you. This is for your highest good. 
but you're not talking to the people that that you should be. They're right there, Libra. Okay, so um, the negative thing is that you're viewing love potentially or new love coming in as a challenge. You're like, am I up for this? I mean, really, do I want to go through the process of getting to know somebody and then end up that I don't really care for them or I don't like them or that their life doesn't isn't like really super cohesive with mine? Like I live here, they live an hour away. Ugh. You know, um, they don't have kids. I do. So maybe they don't know how to be around kids. They've got a dog. I don't like dogs. Like all of these worries and fears um, are not really good for you. And it's creating this picture that like, okay, no relationship is perfect. Um, the perfect partner doesn't exist for me. While it's true that no relationship is perfect, the per perfect partner does exist for you. You're just not believing it. And that's a mindset that um, you have to let go of because they're saying that with this justice card, a very Libra card, we have the scales here. What you think about, you bring about. What you believe becomes your reality. And so if you think that the perfect person for you does not exist, you're right. You're absolutely right. But karmically, this is a really good thing for you to say that, you know, okay, I've had shitty experiences in my past. I've been with people that weren't right for me. But now I'm in a good position in February of 2018 to welcome in somebody who is good for me. I just have to believe that the perfect person for me does exist. And so it's a simple mind shift, a mindset shift, okay? Now, how can you further your own personal growth in order to find love? And they're saying, um, well, you know, that's a never ending process, but you're already working on it. You have to view yourself self as successful already, especially in the areas that you're working so hard on that are distracting you from love. So if you're trying to get more organized, you're trying to excel at your career, stuff like that, view yourself as already successful. Like you don't need to continue to strive. I mean, always keep striving, but it doesn't have to be the only area of your focus because you're already doing great. Now, um, what are some things that maybe you need to work on or change your process in order to attract more love into your life? And they say um, that emotional balance, like understanding that things are the way they are for a reason at this point in time, but that realistically um, things can continue to be peaceful once somebody shows up for you. Self-love does mean... Um, so this is a card saying you have to do a little bit of self-love, you know, caring for yourself. It does mean sometimes taking rest. It does mean forgiving yourself as well as forgiving others, right? Like you have to be a little bit lenient on yourself. You have to remind yourself that you can't go at 100% um, or, you know, 110% all of the time. Eventually you're going to burn out. And so when maybe you're not at your best, maybe you didn't achieve your daily goals, maybe you didn't get to the gym and you wanted to, maybe you... Um, took some time out to read because you just needed a little mom break and you let your kid watch TV. Like, let, let that go. It's okay. It's okay. It's self-love to be forgiving of yourself. Now, what do you need to let go of in order to attract this love into your life in February? Um, the idea that things don't happen overnight. They absolutely can happen overnight for you. You absolutely can meet that person overnight in February. Um, and, you know, this idea that uh, after I have all of my ducks in a row, after I'm super organized, after I'm, you know, I've created a good routine, after I'm making so much money, after I've excelled so much in my career, whatever, after I bought my own home for the first time, or blah, blah, blah. Like, you keep saying, it's like you're pushing love backwards a little bit. Like, well, after this, I'll be a good partner for somebody. After this, I'll be a more appealing partner for somebody. After this, I'm more qualified to um, receive the partner that I'm asking for because they have all of these things. No, 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 no. You can start reaping the rewards of what you're asking for now. You just have to believe that it exists. It's actually a very simple thing. Um, well, it's simple conceptually. It's hard to apply. <laughs> and I just feel like there's something else that Libras need to know here in the month of February. So what is it, spirit, that Libras need to know in regards to love? They say that some of you are just tied up to toxic ideas or people um, that kind of, although they're alluring in a certain way, um, they're actually not good for us. And so this could be for some of you a sexual relationship. It's like somebody you're really, really attracted to, but ultimately they throw your life off course, you know? So uh, that might be something to let go of. It could be a mindset, like I'm used to thinking this way, therefore it's a little bit comfortable for me, but it's actually pretty destructive. That's another thing. Um, they're saying that 
whatever this is, is blocking the flow of love of coming to you. Like whatever you're trying to put out there, whatever you're trying to visualize as far as law of attraction, there is a blockage for a lot of you where um, there's a completely opposite mindset that's skewing the balance, okay? So they're saying, um, don't get defensive about this. Some of you are like, no, there isn't. Yeah, there is. <laughs> and they're saying like, you just can't see it. So what are the steps? I mean, aside from maybe getting a personal reading or going to a therapist or something like that, what are the steps and kind of assessing that on your own? And they're saying really sitting with your feelings and feeling them um, very deeply. They say not like, they say, you know exactly what it is that you're avoiding thinking about because you already know mentally what that is. You know what it is. You're just fighting it. Um, they say, like, ultimately, all the happiness in the world is yours, and you can start moving towards it, but you have to eliminate that blockage. So I'm going to actually shift decks here for you, and I'm going to give you a... Um, so, you know, I don't know if you watched the general reading for Libras, uh, about, you know, the, the month in general, it had a little bit of love there. But what I wanted to mention about that was that in that reading, it talks about a crystal of the month. And I think that that would actually be very helpful for you in your love life as well. It's smoky quartz. But let me see, I think I still have it on hand. Um, okay, specifically for Libra. It's in this formation, almost like a wand or a scepter type, because you can direct the energy with it, okay? So you might want to direct it towards different chakras, you know, um, to dispel this negative thinking and then transmute it and change it into a positive. If you want to know more about this crystal, it's on my website. But um, that's not the point of where I was going with that. That might be a way to help you out. So let's get like a chakra color and a, maybe an affirmation that can help you get rid of this energy because it's so it would be so sad that in February, love is right here potentially for you to take, but you just have to rid this blockage in order to receive it. And so um, what chakra can you focus on to rid this energy? And they're talking about your heart chakra, okay? You've got to revitalize it. But it says revitalize your nervous system. And so your nervous system is responsible for the way that you're thinking, right? Your neurons are firing, and then we have these thoughts. And then if we believe the thoughts when they're negative, then they become our sentiment. And then that's the vibration that we're putting out through our heart chakra. And if it's negative, it, it doesn't help. So we have to decide which thoughts we're going to buy into. When we have a negative thought, that's not our fault, but we can shift it to a positive and then buy into that one. And so your positive affirmation with this green color, I'm just going to look that up for you quickly. Um, your positive affirmation, Libra, is divine intelligence, God, Allah, spirit, universe, whatever you believe. Please release all of the pressure and stress because you're creating stress and pressure on yourself. <laughs> From my heart chakra and my nervous system, fill me up with your healing, revitalizing green light. So the way that I would personally use this energy would be to imagine a green light kind of pushing down on my heart chakra. And then um, once it kind of gets in there, maybe push it down into the earth, like all the way to the earth's core. Um, pushing down any negative or stagnant kind of feelings. And then when it gets down there, coming back up as a bright green light through that root chakra, the sacral chakra, your um, solar plexus, and then out your heart, like at least 300 feet. Because maybe, just maybe, your soulmate can connect to that energy and start getting drawn and sucked in towards you. So best of luck in finding them this February, Libra, and see you next time. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.